Hello, welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Um, we were playing one of our National Pastime 3 uh, games from April uh, the uh, 10th or 11th, I can't remember. Uh, April 10th of 1970. And um, we got to the 7th inning here, the bottom of the 7th, as you can see, uh, a very unlikely candidate, Gene Brabender of the... Milwaukee Brewers, uh, as you can see here, is not allowed to hit through six innings. Um, almost equally surprising is that he's having a pitching duel with Jerry Janeski. Who I never two two pitches which I've never heard of um, from 1970. Um, probably the best pitching matchup I've had of the year. Uh, two unknowns, definitely. Um, so anyway, the, uh, so we're, we're going to pick it up here in the seventh inning and, uh, see if I can get a no hitter possibly with, uh, Brabender there, <laughs> Gene Brabender, quite the name there. So anyway, so we're going to pick it up here in the bottom of the seventh inning and see how this goes. So Bill Melton, 0 for 2, struck out and popped out to first so let's see what he does just a 340 on base percentage 6-2 oops hold on here and that's a strikeout so Rob Bender has got his fourth strikeout now he's just walked one batter and uh, another batter has reached on an error and that's been it pretty much other than that it's that close to a perfect game. So one down here in the bottom of the seventh. Three two. I did have one where there was a five five rolled, but it was the batter was not that great, so it just ended up being a uh, a ground out. So anyway, three two, and that's going to be a ground out to second. So two down in the bottom of the seventh. Up oh, and there it goes. I think. So six. So eleven. And we'll see what it is. Yep, 3-3. Three, three. Most likely that's going to be a home run. It's going to be a hit no matter what, though. So 4-5. And it's going to be a home run. So I guess if you break up a no-hitter, you might as well <laughs> do it in style there. So two. Out, so lasted till two outs in the bottom of the seventh. Anyway, uh, let's see what Ken Berry is going to do now. Oh, there you go. Now the floodgates are going to open, probably. Because neither of these guys were great pitchers at all. I think, in fact, I think this guy might have had a... I'll show it to you real quick. Um, we got a broadbender. He had a 6.02 ERA in 1970. Uh, and he almost pitches a... Uh, came 6 and 2 thirds... Innings of no hit ball. So that's pretty rare as far as that goes. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so let's see what can happen here. So we might as well finish this out anyway. And it's going to be a wild pitch. Of course, uh, everything is going to break loose now, probably. 5 1. Yep. <laughs> so eventually it, everything evens out. Alright, one, two. Alrighty. So we head to the eighth. There's Jan Janeski there. He's pitched equally as well now. Allowing just five hits, striking out five, not walking a batter. So anything, nonetheless, it's an interesting, between two rel two unknowns here, you would think that you would get the best pitching matchup of the season so far, like about 30 games into the season. All right, so I head to the eighth here. Oh, there you go. That could be it right there, Tommy Harper. 
is going to give Broadbender the lead now, two to one. Uh, I'm still going to leave him in. Uh, now we're going to take him out. Okay, so he let up a runner there. So let's take out Janeski anyway. Actually, hold on here. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's take out Janeski, see who's available. Do, 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 do. This can go either the Weaver or Hamilton, depending upon it's a righty or lefty. Lefty, so Weaver or Hamilton. So let's go with Hamilton here, the lefty. All right. So we're in first and two down, six five. All right, Brad Bender, we're gonna leave him in. See if we can get him the victory here. least we can do is since he's not going to get his no hitter or a shutout at least get the win here oh three three uh, of course operatio let's see here how many out do we have here one out we're gonna attempt to steal here All right, so one down now. Carlos May. He doesn't strike out that much. I guess we'll go with a hit and run. Oh, there we go. So run is at the corner. See if he can get... Oh, boy. Hmm. Probably should pull him now. I'm going to leave him in. Oh, there you go. <laughs> of course, that's what I get for leaving him in. And let's see here. Who can we bring in for the brew crew? Let's see who is used here. Probably should have checked that for the other guy, too. Okay, so Gelner or Morris. They got a righty. So I'll bring in Gellner first. I should have brought him in one batter earlier, but all right. So we're tied two to two, and I think Wilbur Wood came in for these guys. So we'll get rid of Hamilton and bring in Wood now. Pitched yesterday, so he didn't pitch that much, though. So, still a good game, nonetheless. Alrighty, so let's see here if we can get a victory. Oh, we don't want a victory for these guys. <laughs> Two, three. Three, five. Uh, and they would take out Wood. Hold on. Bradford was used in the game. I guess he's as good as anybody. Why not? Righty, switchy, and two righties. Ooh, 
He's not that good. Comes a time that we gotta maybe use some of these guys that are not as good. Oh boy, he's bad too. Not so good at great at teams here, but I guess we'll bring him in. Alright. Top of the tenth here. So Gilner is gonna be replaced. Let's see. So Valdespino, Capuccio. Homer. Hmm. Hold on. I guess we can go. I guess he's just as good as me, Ted Savage. Draws the lock. Five one. Tommy Harper, I believe the one that. Oh, never mind. Oh. So Harper is going to try it. Try to steal here. One five. All right, so second and third here. So. Brew crew threatening to go ahead here. Schneider up. Three, four. Nope, oh, flies out. It's the bottom of the inning, so. Of course, this is going to go a long game. I guess he's just as good as anybody there. Two, two. Five, one. All right, we're headed to the eleventh. Murphy. We can use Weaver here. Could have got tried to steal, but we'll play it safe there. All right, this guy strikes out quite a bit, so we're not going to go with any hit and run or anything. Pops out. Nerdy. All right, ground out. So, Goosen. Can Goosen be the hero here? He cannot. He'll strike out. It's the bottom of the 11th. And again, this is not a normal game I'm calling, so that's why I'm just kind of trying to get through it here. Otherwise, I'd be calling every batter and everything. But just thought it might be interesting as a possibility my first no-hitter, but it was not to be. In fact, now you wouldn't even <laughs> wouldn't have a clue whether it was going to be a no-hitter with all the hits now. But that was a cool card, nonetheless. Yeah, we'll leave him on regular, I guess. Try to score that winning run. Nope. Oh, head to the 12th here. Max Elvis. Elvis did not leave the building. Kubiak, 3 2. And we'll take the pitcher out here. Let's 
see if we can get a guy with some pop here, a little bit of pop. Slugging here. Possibly Mike Keegan. Oh, here we go. I only have nine plate appearances. I don't really want to use somebody like that. Phil Roof, 377. Bernie Smith, 382. I guess we'll go with him, 380. That's not that high, though. All right. We got what we had here. I guess we'll go with Phil Roof, just as good as anything, I guess. See if he can send us home. 6 2, no. Nope, he strikes out. Okay. Alright, here. Just as good as anybody. Now he's a lefty, though. We don't want to put a lefty in. He's good. And Humphreys. Alright, bottom of the 12th. If nothing else, this is definitely the longest game I've played so far in this se young season. So that was worth. Well, I didn't realize I left the pitcher in. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. He's fast, so he got on base. So, all right, 13th inning now. Tommy Harper, two for five. He homered already, so he was the one that broke up the... No, it wasn't, because Boo Baker was on the Brewers, so... 3-1, at least I think he was. I forget now. Pops out. Two two. And we're just gonna go for it here, see if we can get in scoring position. No. Alright, Floyd Weaver, let's see, four one, Danny Walton. Alright, bottom of the thirteenth. Ellsworth's in there. 6-5. Six, 6-6 six, six would have been a homer. 5-3. Fouls out. Josephson, 5-6. Strikes out. 6-2. Head to the 14th. Now we'll take out Weaver. I guess he's just as good as anybody. Okay, McNertney. One for five. Nope. Goosen. He's due. And he's not very fast. Oh. Do we want to replace the goose? Probably. Who's fast here? Okay, he's not there. Seven games. I guess we'll move in in Mike Keegan as a pinch runner. Now we're not gonna have him steal. Alright, let's see if we can do a little do a little hit and run here. Nope. Gets the runner over, but this isn't gonna do it unless it's an error. Four four. All right, bottom of the 14th. And I guess we'll leave an Ellsworth at least for one batter. 5-1. Come on, 
It's a single. Alright. Oh boy. Oh yeah, Hegan. Who is it where we placed here? Was it Hegan? Does he have a uh did Hegan is Hegan a first baseman? Yeah, actually he is. Must have been, because he's got four rating on it for a space. Good. Alright, so Barry will take out. See if we get a fast runner for these guys. Guess he's just as good as uh, he's only pitched played in nine games. Uh, we'll put, uh, I guess I guess that guy's There we go, he's alright. All right, so nobody out here. Um, I guess we can go for a hit and run here. Strikes out. Kreider. Oh, he's the pitcher. I want to take him. Up. I want to take him out. Guess he's just as good as anybody. So it was a roll of his 2 2. I'm going to go with it. Alright, so that's going to put the winning run. So I'm going to bring the infield in here. And then we'll take out Ellsworth. And give them their best shot here. This guy's not bad. 292 ERA. Alright, we'll bring the infield in. So Walt Williams has a chance to be the hero. Nope. Runners out at home. Fielder's choice. And we'll keep him... Give him a shot to try to score here. Aparicio, can Aparicio be the hero? Who was ejected from the game? Who was ejected from the game? The catcher was ejected from the game. Catcher disputes the umpire's decision and ejected from the range of the game. Okay. So we got to get rid of... McNertney. So we're gonna put another guy in. Do they have another catcher? That's the question. I gotta have another catcher. Okay, do any one of these guys play catcher? Let's try the first baseman. Can he play catcher? Nope. Yes, he can. Oh, that is McNerney. <laughs> That's the catcher. Right. Nope. Okay, well, I don't have another guy that can be a catcher. Let me double check this again. I won't be a pitcher. Okay, well, that's not going to be good. How can they not have another catcher? Hmm. 
Let's go through the pictures. I doubt if any one of these guys is going to be a... Okay, well... Tito Franconi, you're going to be your first... You're going to be the first catcher. Yep. So give him a four. Good enough. Tito, don't blow the game here. One, three. And it's going to be a walk to load the bases. So Carlos May, can you be the hero? You're one for six. And yes, you will. Most likely. Boom. There it is. White Sox walk it off in the 14th. Carlos May, you are the hero. <laughs> So let's go to the box score. So Brad Bender, unfortunately, pitches six and two thirds, and then, and then the floodgates opened. Six and two thirds, no hit ball, and then only managed to get two more outs before allowing six hits, <laughs> two runs. So yep, doesn't even look like it was close to a no hitter, but it was well, fairly close anyway. Not. Maybe not that close, but close enough to warrant possibly anything beyond when it goes beyond six innings into the seventh. Then I start to count and look at it. But anyway, so Ellsworth and the Brewers lose. And Janeski pitches us, so he pitched really well too. Two pitches that definitely were not very good at all. And Kreider's going to get the win here. So that's it. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And uh, basically any ones, I, I might wait a little bit longer the next time, maybe to, into the seventh inning. But um, definitely my longest game so far out of 30, my 33rd game. So longest game so far and uh, closest I came to a no hitter so far. So I'm sure there'll be many more, well, not many, but there'll be more opportunities. And uh, I'll bring them to you when they come up. So take care, God bless, and we will see you in the next National Pastime 3 1970 replay video. Bye-bye now.